Now on Denver 7 News at 6, the weather outside is frightful and holiday travel definitely not delightful. I'm Denver 7's Veronica Acosta. Over 300 cancellations and we're still counting here at DIA how airlines and passengers are dealing with this huge mess on one of the busiest travel days of the year. And the below freezing temperatures will make hitting the road a challenge too. I'm Danny New and I am driving around the metro giving you the conditions that you need to know for your neighborhood. It is extremely cold across Colorado this morning. I'm tracking how long these sub-zero temperatures will last. A lot of the animals that would normally be out on a nice day, you know, will go into their behind the scenes uh, habitats and, and their bedrooms. Lions and tigers and bears all going inside. I'm talking to the Denver Zoo about the creatures that actually like these sub-zero temperatures. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but the Denver Zoo is closed to humans yeah. today yes. Yes. and zoo lights canceled tonight uh, because it's just going to be yeah. brutal out there. Traffic yeah. cat so does cold. not like snow like no. that. Thanks for staying with us. Hope you're just uh, chilling and, and watching oh, yeah. us this morning on this mm -hmm. Denver 7 Weather Action Day. I'm Nicole Brady. And I'm Brian Sanders. Yeah, if you've been waiting for that day to light the fireplace, make some hot chocolate. Yeah. Today's probably yeah. the day. We are barely going to get to zero today. Uh, just low temperatures, icy conditions out there also impacting our schools. Most are already on holiday break. That's the good news. But Cherry Creek, Brighton 27J and Littleton are just a few that will be closed today. St. Verain is going remote, so we want to say sorry to the high school students that still have to take their finals remotely on, today. Online. Yeah, <laughs> couldn't get out of that one. Oh. We have a full list on Denver7.com and then scrolling at the bottom of your screen with all the closures and delays. Yeah, and, and we'll have our crew out at the airport. Veronica Costa checking in on those lines. Uh, Danny New is on the road right now to look at the snowy conditions for drivers. <laughs> Yeah, he's got his eyes wide open. Yeah. Uh, Katie, of course, tracking this cold air that is just lingering throughout the day. It is going to stay very, very frigid here across the northeastern corner of Colorado, including the metro area, until at least this time tomorrow. Right now, it's 13 degrees below zero at a DIA, and wind chill values feeling like we're around minus 30. Also, snow associated with this system. This is a good representation of up into the mountains. You can see through downtown Frisco, snow covering the roadways, and and some heavier amounts over higher terrain around six to 12 inches of accumulation, two to four for the metro area, but very icy snow covered roadways at this hour. Temperatures right now, we are 10 degrees below zero in downtown Denver, up into Golden at negative 15, same out through Aurora Reservoir. And as mentioned, it's not going to warm up much. The snow though will taper off. Winds continue to be gusty over the northeastern plains. You can see some clearing here over the metro area later on this afternoon. So a little more sunshine to round out the day, but daytime highs barely barely reaching zero degrees. Jason. Yeah, we do have a bunch of roads that are still closed down on the eastern plains and up in the mountains, including I-70. I'll show you that in just a second. Right now, you're seeing from the different road conditions around town. Expect snow cover anywhere you want to go here this morning. Whether well, it's going to be down on C-470, up to the north side of town, 270. See that drive down to Castle Rock? There was a crash on the northbound side there at Wolfensburger. Take a look at the uh, other quad split where you can see this is I-70 up at Silverthorne where the eastbound side is closed down. Loveland Pass is closed down as well. So if you're over there in the wet, you can't make your way back towards Denver unless you're going to use 285. Uh, this I-70, this is a stalled car it looks like on the southbound side of Parker Road right at 225. Uh, take a look, light traffic anyway. Anyway, but you see the, uh, the road closures. Let me go back to the road closures. The big one is I-70 out to the eastern plains. That is the big closure right now out to the east. And the roads here around town, most people are going in the 30s and 40s comfortably across the highways. Yeah, it is treacherous out there. Not that there's ever a good time for below zero temperatures, but this is really coming at a yeah. bad time with the holidays uh, this weekend. My dad had his flight canceled trying to get here yesterday Aww. for Christmas, so he's going to try and get on a flight today. But that's not a guarantee either. Uh, this is one of the busiest travel days at DIA. Yeah, uh, I know. It makes me feel very, very grateful to have my family here so I don't have to go anywhere. Denver 7's Veronica Costa is at the airport. Uh, and yeah, lines, hopefully people planned ahead, got there early. Uh, but for some, they just there's nothing they can do if the flight's canceled. Nope, it's just a waiting game for a lot of people here, Nicole. I will say DIA is very packed this morning. You can kind of see it here behind me. So we have Frontier check-in, Southwest check-in as well. I will also say all these people, they're not delayed or canceled in this line. A lot of them are just checking in their bags, checking in their pets, uh, hoping, fingers crossed, that their flights don't get delayed and don't get canceled. But we know that as of this morning, as of right now, 306 flights have been canceled so far. 
just today here at DIA and actually about 30 minutes or so ago I spoke to a couple who's been sitting on the ground just on the other side of the airport. They have been here for 13 hours now just waiting. So they came from Bozeman, Montana trying to catch a flight to Nashville. Now they're not going to be able to get one till 10 p.m. tonight. Listen to what else they have to say. It's already stressful enough with it being the holiday season. <laughs> so. Um, I don't know. Can't rent a car to go back to Bozeman. There's no flights back to Bozeman. No other flights to Nashville until I think like Christmas Eve or Christmas or like the 26th. So, stress. So you guys yeah. are just sitting on the ground waiting then? Yeah. Yes, hoping that that 10 o'clock flight doesn't get canceled. And they actually got the last two seats on that flight back to over to Nashville rather. So they really are banking on that flight. She said if that flight doesn't come through, which is something they haven't even thought about yet because they don't want to get to that point. They really don't know what they're going to do, except maybe wait for that flight back to Bozeman, Montana, just completely missing their holiday over in Nashville. So they aren't the only ones, as you can probably imagine. Hundreds of people have had their flights canceled. I mean, we have seen the tweets all morning long from people saying that they have been here for hours and hours. We're going to try and find some more of those people and tell you kind of what their experience has been like. Guys, back to you. Ah, oh, feel for them. I um, know. You know, it's it's just no fun to have to cancel your holiday And with holiday kids plans. to see yeah. them bundled up and uh, trying to keep them comfortable. Thank you, Veronica. You know, for some, it might actually be a better idea to maybe drive to the holiday destination. Mm -hmm. Just hold off a little bit. Uh, this <laughs> morning, it is still very snow packed on the roads out there. No matter where you go, mm -hmm. too. Uh, Denver 7's Danny New is driving around for us. He's on I-25 near Castle Rock. And I mean, it's it's been bumpy and icy and it's hard to see much of anything out there. I know, I feel like every time I come to you guys live, something different happens. There's like a different little event that um, certainly adjusts our live shot. We'll see how this one goes. Like you said, on 25 southbound, just passed by County Line Road, headed towards Castle Rock, like you mentioned. We're in like Lone Tree right now. We just got out of Centennial. Uh, let's take a look at the road, huh? We'll let you guys be the judge. What do you think? Do you feel like driving? I personally don't. But thankfully, uh, our cameraman Cesar is driving right now. Thank you, Cesar. You're doing a good job. So as you can see, I uh, still have really no idea what lane we're in. You can kind of make it out, but it's really entirely white. Uh, this is not one of those Colorado days where I think the sun is going to come out and then everything immediately melts, at least not for a while. So it's just going to be kind of like this where it's still snowing. It's definitely snowing lighter than it was before, like when we first got in for our, our Denver 7 at 430. But now it's still snowing pretty lightly and it's not going away. So we were on Quincy and Parker before and we could not see the lanes. And now we're on the highway where we have seen plenty of plows, but it's still just pretty hard to make out where you are and as you can tell there are still like a good amount of cars so you know we're in Colorado so plenty of people are still going to work but I personally my personal opinion I did move from Florida but I think if you can stay home that's the right call uh, so I will send it back to you guys we'll keep monitoring the roads and telling you mm -hmm. how it's going for anyone who has to commute today yeah. It, yeah. it does look lighter traffic wise out there so it does that's yeah. good uh, the zoo is protecting the animals today while some can stay out many are being moved to their indoor enclosures Fortunately, you know, we've got some of the, the best animal experts uh, in the country here at the zoo. So they know exactly what the animals needs are. They know what their, their kind of temperature thresholds are. We've got a few native species. So our bighorn sheep, our mountain goats, um, this is, they, they are just as happy at two degrees as they are 70 degrees. Yeah, even even the lions uh, were doing okay earlier this week when it wasn't below zero, uh, but you could see their yeah. breath in the air. Right. Lions just like us out there. So the zoo is closed <laughs> to visitors today and tomorrow, and Zoo Lights is canceled tonight, but will be open tomorrow night. Well, we are getting some different perspectives, not only from the animals, but humans as well. From our Discover Colorado Through Your Photos Facebook group, take a look here. Jerry sent us this photo of the snow coming down hard. This was in Arvada overnight. Uh, Soraya took this picture of a snowy scene outside the Costco in Thornton. I don't think the snow is going to stop people from oh. going to Costco. Nien shared this photo from a UPS facility to remind us that delivery drivers, of course, are still working through these wintry conditions, sub zero temperatures to make sure your packages get there in time for the holidays. If you see one, make sure you show your appreciation to them and you can share your photos and videos right now with us. Just search Discover Colorado through your photos on Facebook. Mm. Katie.
Well, the heaviest snow across the metro area came in overnight. We are still seeing light snow areas of fog and mist. The temperatures, though, it is absolutely bone chillingly cold outside. 15 degrees below zero. Aurora out to golden around negative 10 in Denver. You can see that light snow over much of the southern metro area and down south into Pueblo and Colorado Springs. We know the dogs need to go outside, but make it a quick little potty break. You can see we'll stay below zero until noon under a mostly cloudy sky, Jason. I'm taking you up to the high country right now. This is I-7 at the Copper Mountain exit, Highway 91. And we have a snow squall warning between basically here and Leadville that includes Highway 91 and Highway 24 out of Mintern. And that means extremely dangerous driving conditions where you can barely see where you're going and they can't really plow the roads quickly because the snow is coming down so heavily. Uh, and so very treacherous conditions from I-70 down to Leadville right now. We also still have eastbound I-70 closed at Silverthorne trying to get back here towards town. Well, we know you just want to know when it will warm up again and you can watch those temperatures slowly creep up throughout the day and of course into tomorrow on the Denver 7 app for your phone. We have an hourly and a seven day forecast both plus a live interactive radar. You can zoom right to your neighborhood. You can download that for free to any mobile device. Ukraine's president speaks on Capitol Hill in front of Congress with no end in sight right now in their war against Russia. We are looking at the massive aid package that is up for debate. And Russell Wilson ready to ride again. His optimism ahead of the Broncos Christmas Day game.